How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to go over uh, the Kindle Fire HD for beginners. And so um, they've changed a couple of things on the interface. So if you've had the original Kindle, some things are different. If this is your first time having one, I just kind of want to go over what's different so you'll be able to operate it and have fun with it. Okay. So the first thing first here is um, um, on the uh, original Kindle Fire. There was a little wheel here, and that was your quick settings. And so, if you want to like connect to Wi-Fi, change the volume, go to your menu, it was all up there. Well, that option is now gone. And so, the way you do that is you take your finger, and you see where the clock is. You actually put your finger right above the clock and just drag down. And now you have this option. This basically takes you to what's called your quick settings. So, first of all, right here is where you'll see any apps that maybe you've downloaded or any books you've downloaded. It'll notify you up here in what's called notifications. And up here, you'll have a number, as you can see here. And this shows I have 12 different notifications. And basically, it's telling me that, hey, all my apps have downloaded. And so, pretty much, once they've downloaded, you can just go ahead and hit clear all. Because now that you know they're there, you don't have to keep them open. And then we'll just drag down again. And so, um, if you th this first option here is what's called screen screen lock, or excuse me, rotation lock. If you lock this, if you try to turn your Kindle sideways, it won't allow you to do it. It'll lock it in what's called the portrait position. If we unlock it, then we can turn it sideways, okay? And if we lock it now, then we actually can't turn the Kindle long ways again. So that's our rotation lock there. And uh, I'm going to keep it this way. Now, um, actually, I'll go back. Go this way. So, um, you have your volume here. So, volume up and down. Brightness, also controlled up here. Wireless, this is where you would go to connect to uh, a Wi Fi network. Um, and you can also connect via Bluetooth, or you can also turn on airplane mode, and that's if you're going to go on a plane, you want to turn on airplane mode, so it, it saves your battery, and um, just basically will allow you to not have it interfere with anything going on the plane. Okay, and we'll actually pull down again here. This is sync, so if you actually have an email account set up with it, uh, it'll actually sync your email if you have songs, on Amazon's cloud player you can actually have a sync and update any new songs you put on there um, so that's if you kinda wanna force a synchronize also here you have your your full settings menu so tap there it takes you here this is where you have your full selection of settings parental controls um, stuff with the keyboard security all this kinda stuff um, you're not going to have to use this stuff too often, but that's how you get to it. It's basically pulling down and going to more. Um, this is your home button. And I just went away from it. Your home button is in the corner uh, right here. So if you're ever in the app, let me move up a little bit here. If you're ever in an app, uh, you'll see this home button. And when you tap it, it takes you right back to the main screen, which is right here. Okay. Let's say I open Words with Friends. Okay. And... Um, Maybe I click on this game because I want to see this game or I want to play this part of the game, whatever, right? So I'm going to tap on that one. Now, what if I want to get back to that original screen? Use this arrow down here. This is your back arrow. It'll always take you back one step from where you were. So if I tap it, it takes me right back to my uh, home screen, okay? And then you also have your search here. Now, there's nothing in here you'd want to search, so this really is kind of an irrelevant button in this app. But other apps, you would actually use that for something. Down here, we have what's called our favorites. And when you tap here, you can see anything that you have saved in your favorites section. So if I tap favorites, this is actually our web browser. We can tap on this, and it'll take us right to the internet. It's a little slow, though, so you have to kind of wait for it. And it loads, it'll jump you right to the internet just like that okay and then we go back to home but actually let me hold off on that first this is actually I'm on Facebook right now so certain apps you're in and um, certain things you'll see this at the bottom this is actually your menu button when you tap the menu button it gives you different menu options that you have within that app so right now we're in the web browser so when we tap menu it gives you certain options you have in that web browser or online okay so, 
if you don't see a menu button, it means that there is no menu options. Simple as that. And I can also tap my star here and see my favorites again. Okay. Now we want to press the home button to go back to our home page right here. Um, up here we have um, th this use, these used to be called libraries and I think they've changed it now because they've added more to it but basically um, we have a little game center here if you want to shop in terms of downloading things from Amazon you click here we have our books if you have books uh, that you've downloaded from the Kindle application or you've bought on Amazon.com uh, like digital books, ebooks, they'll be in this section music and this is only music that you've downloaded from Amazon's cloud player you'll be able to listen here or you'll be able to buy and download music from here here we have our videos let's go ahead and tap on that one because that's a little more elaborate this is actually Amazon's uh, video streaming service uh, they have what's called Amazon Prime if you're a Prime member you can actually watch a bunch of movies for free Prime you pay a one-time fee for the whole year unless you watch a lot of movies. It's very similar to Netflix, but some of the movies are newer and some of the TV shows are newer. So um, that's just kind of what that is. Now, you can also go to your video library. And what your video library is, you want to go to device. These are different movies that you can actually buy and download from Amazon's video store. So actually, we'll go to store right here and it will actually show you different things you can buy. So you can't usually buy Prime Instant videos. You want to go down to movies or TV shows, and then these are things you can actually buy and you can actually download onto your Kindle. So we'll do a separate video on how to do that, but just to kind of give you the basics right there. Let's go back home now. We have our newsstand, and that's where you're going to get magazines. You're going to have the newspaper. You can actually subscribe to like LA Times, USA Today. And you can have them, basically every morning they will download the newest version of the newspaper onto your Kindle. So that's a great plus right there. If you're a big, mag if you're a big newspaper reader, if you're a magazine reader, they also have a, a large selection of, of magazines you can actually download. And the new issues will come as they come out. We also have a new tab which is called audiobooks. And I'm going to go on that one as well. Audiobooks is basically you being able to download the uh, audio version of a book and be able to listen to it on the Kindle. So like this is a book that I downloaded in the past. It was called Increasing Your Financial IQ. So you can actually tap on it and listen to it and you can actually go to the store as well and you can actually shop for other audiobooks to download and play on your uh, Kindle Fire HD. Uh, going a little slow there. But here we are. We can type in a specific title right here or you can look through and see what's available, what's on best selling, all like that pretty much. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on that, but this is how you would do it. Let's go ahead and go back home now. This is web. This is how you would go online if you want to search the internet. So we tap on web. And I was using the Facebook app, so that's why it's the first page that shows you. And we can just tap in this box right here. I can go to like google.com and then it'll take you right to Google. And you can pretty much go to any website and usually it'll give you an option if you want to look at uh, the mobile version or the desktop version. For example, if you go, so first of all, notice right here you don't see www. You have to actually pull down and then it actually comes up. So pull down. We may have to just close it because I think Google may not let you. So we close this tab, tap here. I'm going to show you an example if you're on a mobile website, how you would pull up the full version of that website. So YouTube is a good example. When you go to YouTube on a tablet, normally it'll, it'll pull up the mobile version of it. The mobile version tends to be a little bit limited. Now right now it actually pulled the full version because I originally went here and I told it not to do that. So. But if you go down to the bottom, you have your mobile version right here. Now, when you first use it, it may take you right to the mobile version. I kind of want to just show you the difference here. 
So let's tap on mobile version and what it's going to do. It should reload the website, but now it's going to show you the mobile version. So this is how the still not coming up. All right. Well, tell you what, we're not going to focus on that too much right now. But most websites you go to, you'll actually see at the bottom it'll say mobile version or desktop version. If you want to see the website the way you would see it on a computer, you want to tap desktop version. Okay. Let's go back home. And then let's keep going. We have photos, documents. So the thing about photos is you have to plug it into your computer and you have to actually transfer photos to it. Uh, so I'm going to do a separate video on how to transfer your pictures to it. But um, right now there's no photos that actually come with it. We also have our documents. And um, there's a what it does is your Kindle will actually set up an email address for you. So this one actually set up. Um, call to the word underscore 13 at kindle.com so you can actually email a document to yourself and it will actually come up on the Kindle but you have to email it to this email address so pretty cool pretty simple you can have your docs with you wherever you go and then we lastly we have what's called offers and these are different um, advertisements that are actually built into the Kindle but if you see an offer that you like you can you can go to that tab that says offers and then you can actually get more information on it so I can like tap on like this movie the words and then I can get more information on that movie okay and I'm gonna do a, a different video that's gonna actually show you how to take the advertisements out given you don't want that to be on your Kindle Fire HD so um, we don't need to look at this but that's just kinda how you access that we have our search option up here if you want to like search for a specific book that you have in here or maybe like a movie or something. You can actually type it in here and it will actually uh, bring it up. Or you can search the store or the web. So it's kind of a little shortcut to search things quicker. For example, I have an app on here called Spotify. And so right here it actually brings up the app and I can tap it and it will open the app right from there. This is pretty cool. It's a little shortcut on how to find things a little bit faster on your Kindle Fire HD. So definitely, I say take advantage of that. And uh, let's go back home again. And that's about it. Now you probably have another big question that I haven't answered yet. I'm going to answer it right now. You're saying, "Well, how do I get to the camera? I want to take pictures." Well, unfortunately, um, there's no camera app that comes on the Kindle Fire HD. You cannot take pictures. Uh, from the Kindle Fire. You can only use that camera for video chat via Skype. So, uh, kind of a letdown. I don't really like that that was a decision that Amazon made when it came to putting a camera. Why put a camera on there if you can't access it? It doesn't make a lot of sense. And I think maybe it was because the resolution is kind of low on the Kindle, so maybe they didn't want people to just take pictures and then criticize the camera. But anyway, you can't access pictures. You can't take pictures with it. You can only use it for a video chat type of thing. So um, that's about it. This is Kindle Fire for beginners. Kindle Fire HD for beginners. Uh, one last thing I didn't show you was how do you get something in your favorite section, like right here. What you're going to do is it has to be in your carousel first. And the way to get it in your carousel is you have to actually just open up that application or that website. Or, for example, um, if I want to put, let me see, is email down there? Email is not down there. Okay. So let's say I want to put Twitter, the Twitter app, in my favorites. When it's on the carousel, you want to hold down on it, and then this option comes up, and you want to tap Add to Favorites. So if we tap Add to Favorites, now we go to the, uh, the star, and there it is. Twitter is right here. If you wanted to do a website, really simple, you want to go to the web first. And it's going to open up the internet. So what you want to do is you want to go to that website first. So for example, right now we're already on YouTube, so this is perfect. Real simple. In fact, I'll go to a different site just to I want to make sure I make the point properly. I'm going to go to this website here, my website, H2 Tech Videos. Let's say I wanted to bookmark my website and have it in my favorites. Now that I'm on the website, what you're going to do is simply go home. Okay. And now that the, the carousel always shows the last thing that you looked at. So this is the last website I looked at. So I'm going to hold down now. 
and tap add to favorites if I come down the star now I have my website bookmarked as a favorite so I have Facebook Facebook um, in favorites and I have my website so I can tap here and it will launch me right to uh, Facebook whenever it wants to load okay and now watch this I can go to the star and I can go here and it will launch my website so it's just a cool little uh, option on how to save things in your favorites and last thing here at the bottom here again it's for beginners so we, this is our um, micro HDMI port if you want to plug up your Kindle to your TV and see it on your TV you have your micro USB for charging you have up here is a microphone on the right side we have this is our sleep button so if you tap it once to put it to sleep tap it again it turns it on if you hold down on it that's how you would turn the Kindle off is he not ask you if you want to shut it down we don't want to shut down so we're gonna press cancel and you have your volume controls right here but let's see yeah these two are volume control there you go so volume up and down that's new the original Kindle didn't have that and nothing on the left side so this video has been a very long video but hopefully helpful so if you did find it helpful go ahead and click the like button when the video is over uh, subscribe to x2tech videos and keep watching and hopefully you now know how to use your new kindle fire hd a little bit better all right have a good one